David says, I can't use this. I can't even walk in it. It ain't fit for me. Listen, the whole thing is, folks. And I find it amazing that the first piece of armor that God gives us to use for our protection protects our hearts. The breastplate fitted around the chest and the back. It was secured or it was attached to the belt of truth. See, when you wake up in the morning, you're going to have a decision to make. Do I want to put it on or do I not? It's your decision. I can't make it for you. Nobody else can. We've been talking about decisions the past day or so. You have to make that conscious decision to put it on. I got to thinking about David and Goliath. And they even got to talking about it out here on the front porch this morning. Poor old David. He wanted to go up against that big old giant. What did Saul tell him? He says, well, you ain't nothing. You're just a little man. You're just a little young runt. You can't do nothing. He said, well, I've took care of a bear. I've took care of a lion. I've done this. And so I can do to this Philistine too. Saul finally said, well, all right. What did Saul do? He fitted David with his armor. David says, I can't use this. I can't even walk in it. It ain't fit for me. Listen, the whole thing is, folks, your armor is designed to fit you. You can only fit, fight your battles in your armor. Nobody else's. Me and Bert may look the same size, but I grant you, when we put on our armor, our spiritual armor, they're different sizes. But this breastplate of righteousness, a lot of people get it wrong. They think, well, you know, you put this righteousness on. They got to understand it's his righteousness. It's not my righteousness. It's not anybody else's righteousness. You got a lot of self-righteous people in this world that's going to find out one day they're wrong. But the breastplate of righteousness is the very important piece of the armor. It attaches to the truth. The truth holds it in place so we can fight off the enemy.